Vinyl chloride is a manufactured chemical, meaning it's not produced in the environment. And it's produced typically in its gas form. And it can be made in a liquid form, but that does require some really low temperatures. And it's typically produced so that way it can be pieced together to make polyvinyl chloride, which you may be familiar with as being abbreviated PVC, which is used in a lot of pipes or wires. However, vinyl chloride can leak from these industries into the environment. But once it's in the environment, it's typically degraded quite quickly, within a few days. And that's from exposure to sunlight as well as exposure to oxygen. And that can lead to some byproducts like formaldehyde and then further to carbon dioxide. However, if it comes in contact with individuals, it will also be metabolized into these byproducts. But it could lead to some other health concerns. But these are going to be dependent on a few factors. One, which is the dose that someone is exposed to. Another is the duration of how much time they're exposed to it. And then last would be the frequency. So how often are they coming in contact with vinyl chloride? In the short term, vinyl chloride could cause some health concerns related to dizziness, as well as irritation, maybe of the eyes or of the skin. But in the long term, this can have some other health consequences, such as liver damage, and even a very specific form of liver cancer known as hepatic angiosarcoma.